I'm back, and it's time for another Plan As You Go month. Hi, everybody. Welcome to October. This is 2018, and I am doing another Plan As You Go month, a series where I show for the entire month how I use my planners right now, an Eric Condren horizontal, neutral, and a bullet journal throughout the course of the entire month. I will also be peppering in how I'm using my new Google Calendar and Evernote, but you know, that's going to just be it. So every day for a month, for the most part, there's going to be at least one day where I won't be posting. I'll be out of town. But other than that, yeah, keep your eye open videos every day for the most part, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, let's get started. Those of you who have been following me for a while know that I have been out of town for two weeks. My sister had a kidney transplant. It all went well. My brother-in-law and my sister are both healing very nicely. Uh, she's got a lot of ways to go when it comes to, you know, the medication, the anti-rejection meds and all of that. But now I am home after being gone for two weeks. I appreciate your patience with me while my posting schedule was a little truncated. Today, I am going to be setting up my Erin Condren for the week and setting my bullet journal up for the week. And so it's going to be a bit of a longer video. It's the first day I've really sat down with my planners in two weeks and my brain is a little discombobulated. So if it feels that way, that's probably why. So I'm gonna start with my EC because decorating gets me right into the nicest frame of mind ever. I will let you know, I set up these planners for myself for the next couple of, for those two weeks I was gone, I didn't touch them. Had, I told you that might happen though, so at least this way I have something in my planner. But I'm gonna be going to the first week of October. I've already pulled all of the stuff off of my Google Calendar and my monthly calendar, but I can't even talk for the week. So I've got my list and I'm just gonna get it set up. And I'm gonna use this kit that I ordered from K Glam Co. It's like washi tape and high heels and shit in like a spooky kind of situation. And to inaugurate the start of October, that's what I'm going to use. The washi tapes I grabbed that look kind of nice with it have rose gold foil. It's like a light pink and some purple to just kind of go with it. And then, yeah, so that's what I'm going to be using along with whatever else I talk about. So let's just get going because I'm rambling too much. And the first thing that I want to do is cover up these flags. These are from Chrissy Ann Designs. I'm going to cover these up. Then I'm going to start washi taping the fuck out of this planner. I think I might have enough of this to run along the bottom and cut this in half and run some of it along the top. I think I'm going to try that. Where the fuck is my washi tape cutting thing? I'm kind of in a, ah, I'm in a predicament. Flinging shit every which way. Okay. Well, this sticker might be too thick. From my cutter, so we'll have to use the old fashioned scissors. That's not exactly the suavest thing in the world, but I'm gonna go with it because that was more effort than I intended. All right, now let me see if I'm gonna run some washi along here as well. I'm gonna cover this notes up because I'm gonna cover the whole thing up with washi tape and it shows through if you don't cover it up. So because I am extra, that's what I'm gonna do. Ah, I just changed my cover out and I've got those little plastic bits from the cover everywhere. This is, I'm, my desk is a hot mess. My life is a hot mess. Everything is a hot mess today because I'm trying to, you know, get my shit together after traveling and you know, you know how it is. Never been gone from like my family for that long before. Two weeks, man, long time. I feel like that's a little bit extra, but I thought that that might be helpful in kind of covering up some of the jankiness. I'm going to washi tape the sections of the planner for my blood pressure, my weather, and my meal planning.
I think I'm gonna run some washi tape here and on the bottom of the other side because I think that it just needs a little bit of balance. This is becoming an extra as fuck spread and I was trying to tell myself that I needed to not do too much because I need like to actually get shit done today and not fuck around. Even though fucking around is my middle name, Cynthia fucking around Gunter Baldo. There's so much washi tape. <laughs> anyway, I got to keep going. I got to go. So I'm going to draw my little line in for my blood pressure. And then I'm going to draw in my weather and my other things. My weather, my blood pressure, you know, all the things. My weather, my meal plans through Thursday. Because that's what I do. As usual, I don't do my weather and my meal planning until, even though this week my custody actually goes for two weeks in a row because of my trip, I'm still going to do all of my meal planning and everything on Friday, like I usually do. I think I want to put something on here to make mention of the fact that this is plan as you go week. Okay, so that will mark that this is a plan as you go week. This is actually the kickoff of plan as you go month. Now going to Monday, which is today. I'll put my couple of things here and then the rest of this is basically a work day because holy shit, I have to catch up. <laughs> I'm gonna slap down a bill due sticker because my mortgage is due today. And then I'm going to put this exclamation point for a deadline and this camera for filming. And I'm just gonna put work because that's what I'm gonna be spending most of today doing. The other thing I'm slapping down is a little Christian Designs Crock-Pot sticker because I need to start the Crock-Pot at noon. And that is today. Now for the rest of the week, I'm just gonna get my, I'm not gonna plan my days out because I don't really, except for a couple days where I know specific things, I'm just gonna get my priorities that I know about. The two things I need to put here are that A, I have a Facebook Live with my patrons to catch up with my trip and everything. And then also I have to return my kids flute rental because we got the fixed flute back while I was gone. So I use this from the K Glam kit, and then this is my one of my Munch More with I can't even say it. Once More with Love Munch More, Once More with Love Music Munchkins, and then here is a event sticker from the kit, and I am going to use this little clipboard to remind me that on Tuesday I need to dig into my church emails. On Wednesday, my ex is borrowing the kids in the evening to take them to the movies, and so I think that means that we will have a date night that night. And I think there's a date night sticker in this kit, which I think I'll just slam right here. Thursday, I have no specific things that are due that day, so I'm just gonna leave it blank. Friday is a busy day. My kid has a game with a call time, and I have something for the patrons that needs to go live. I'm gonna use this little pen for the patron thing, and then I'll grab another music munchkin for Katie's call time. I can't spell, apparently. On Friday, I'm gonna need to meal plan. I wanna use one of these stickers, but as this is sized for the vertical, I'm gonna have to cut this. And there's one of my meal plan lettering stickers from Chrissy and Designs. And so Saturday, I actually have a quite a bit going on. My kid has two music stickers we need. My kid has an all day rehearsal for marching band and I have quartet rehearsal that my husband actually also needs to go to because he needs to uh, help us with microphones because we're singing the next day. And while I have the music munchkins out, I need to slap on two more on Sunday because on Sunday, I am singing at church, like I just said, and my kid has a parade that they are going to that I will not be at because I will be singing and that they have a call time for that morning. So it's just a <laughs> look at that. No wonder I go through so many fucking music munchkins, right? I also need to put in on Saturday that I have a patron hangout and that I need to wash my sheets. 
Looks like I'm just going to be slapping stickers down. Because I need to grocery shop, I need to do laundry, and I have a patron hangout. So my Saturday is not going to be very relaxing, I don't think. But I will be... I guess I'm not going to use a weekend banner either because I kind of didn't use it. Hopefully that means on Sunday after church I'll be able to get a little bit of relaxing and that would be nice. And that is everything I need for my week in my Erin Condren. It's all set up. You'll see me fill this out as the week goes on. I may come to regret putting these stickers down, but we'll see what happens. So now I'm going to kind of move all of this to the side, but I'm going to leave this planner open so I can take a look at it. And generally speaking, I'll tell you this, when I use a kit like this, I usually shove it right into like the front of my planner so that I have it there when I'm working throughout the week. My desk is a gigantic mess right now. I will explain a little bit more of my philosophy of how I use my planners together as time goes on. Oh my God, everything's falling. Today I'm not because I'm just, I'm kind of discombobulated. This is sort of gonna be an all over the place video. Now I have done this page, which for the most part flattened. I do wanna glue down the other pages. I just haven't done that yet. I have not moved over anything yet because I haven't had time to, and I'm not gonna do that today because I've already done a bunch of shit already. I wanna just get this done so I can get back to work. So tomorrow I will move everything from my bullet journal my old bullet journal over into these pages. But for today, what I'm gonna do is my challenges and then set up my week. And I'll deal with the rest of it later because I just don't have the fucks to give right now about it. Hashtag reality. So the first thing I'm gonna do is my challenges. Actually, I guess the first thing I'll do is mark in, because even though I haven't moved everything else over yet, I can mark in my pain for last night, which I had to take a painkiller. I actually, you're gonna see, I had to take many painkillers. Going up to help my sister was awesome, but I overdid it on multiple occasions. So you're gonna see a lot of that. Okay, so we'll start with the challenges and the rando doodles. I did not post these on Instagram until today, actually, as the filming of this video. I still haven't posted them yet, but they are in the Facebook group if you want them. Llamas love lettering. I'll post these on Instagram as soon as I'm done with this video. Today to kick off October is Psycho. And then the rando doodles for the month is Disney Villains, and today is the Evil Queen from Snow White. She looks a little stoned, but we'll go with it. All right, so like I said, I'll move all of this over later. I'm not doing it today. So for today, I am going to create a weekly spread. I'm going back to my time tracking because I'm gonna give it another fucking college try and I'm going to create a to-do list for the week because I really could need to gather my thoughts. And then I will do my daily because that's how we're gonna roll today. So I'm gonna start. I've been using some Simply Gilded washi tape. I had some selected for the month and this is what I'm gonna use if I can ever unroll it. By the way, if you haven't been listening to my podcast, and why haven't you? Just kidding. But if you have not been listening to it or you're not subscribed, you should go check it out today because I actually have Irene of Simply Gilded on the podcast, which was a lot of fun to talk to her. So you should go totally check that out. I will have the podcast linked down below in the description. I got the Tombow VIP box and it has these Fudunosuke colors. I really like their regular Fudunosuke pen. So I'm gonna bust out one of these. And this is not gonna be a review. I'm just gonna give them a try. I'll do a review on them next month, but I'm gonna probably give them a try throughout this month to let her in some stiff.
there is my shit for the week. I'm going to fill in my time tracker really quick for today. And now I will get my daily spread done. All right, here is my bullet journal setup for the day, and that's where I'm gonna cut this video off. Now, tomorrow I'm going to move some more shit to my bullet journal since it'll be a little less hectic since it's not my first day back. But until then, just tell me what you've been doing the last couple of weeks. If you've commented on my videos or in the Facebook group, chances are I haven't seen it because I was trying my hardest to focus on my family. I did peek in here and there, but for the most part, I was silent. I will do my best to get through some of that this week, but I don't make any promises as to how fast. So I'd just love to know how your last couple of weeks have been because mine have been really interesting. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you tomorrow for another Plan As You Go video.